everybody and welcome to another video. This video is going to be a little bit different because I'm doing more of like a farm vlog because I didn't have enough content to make a full video but I thought I'd just film my day because at the minute it looks like I'm doing nothing but this is what I do on day to day. So I thought I'd show you what I'm doing and also you'll get to have a look at the Fergie because I know you haven't seen the Fergie in a long time. We have done a lot of work on the Fergie and I, I, we'll just get into it. I'll explain it all to you. Okay, so I know you haven't seen this, but this is a new cylinder head. I know, spoiler alert. I'm in the middle of painting it at the minute. At the minute, it's in primer paint. As you can see, it's masked off. This is the old head. Now, this head, you'll see in the video that I'm making, I, uh, I did put a poll out. I said, do you want to see longer videos or shorter videos? And everybody said longer videos. So there's going to be a video coming out very soon of the complete refurbishment of a cylinder head. So that's from getting the rusty knackered one, cleaning it up, getting all the carbon out, painting it, primering it, putting all the new hardware in it, new valve guides, new valves, new springs, new collets, new everything. So it's going to be the complete refurbishment, new thermostat, literally everything, new injectors. As you can see, the injectors are out everything on a cylinder head so that video is going to be coming out very shortly i hope because it's taking a while uh, and it's going to be the complete start to finish of how to refurbish a cylinder head i really hope you enjoy it because i'm putting a lot more effort into videos now trying to get them up to standard more interesting more entertaining and just a lot more stuff happening in them so what are we doing today well today folks uh, I'm going to be painting this, but I'm sorry, don't hate me for it, but I'm not going to show you that because you're going to see that in the upcoming video. But today I'm going to be painting this and I'm also going to be trying to get one of the liners out of the engine because I've seen recently and I've been watching loads of YouTube, I've been reading loads of books, I've got all the manuals, <laughs> I've, been, I've been reading all the books on this engine and there's two different types of liners. There's one liner that's got a thin rim, and there's the later engines which have the thicker rim. Now, Agriline, the, well, yeah, this engine kit that I've got from Agriline, uh, they only supply the later liners, and I'm pretty sure there is only the later liners. You can't get the early liners, so I'm going to have to press these out, have a look at them, and if they are the later ones, which I think they are, no, the early ones, sorry, which I believe they are, we'll have to turn the liners down, so it's not a problem. I uh, did machining at college, so I can machine the liners down uh, and then they'll fit. But I just need to have a look so I can obviously see what we're playing. So as you can see, I think that's the liner. Look, there's the locator, there's that locking ring and then there's the one with the, the little pin. Them two haven't been touched. This one is just a liner and this one is just a liner. But this liner's moved, so I think I'm going to pop out Liner number four. Yeah, we'll pop out liner number four. I'm a bit worried though, because I've realized that that ring's gone missing. I'll find it, don't worry about it boys, don't worry about it. So as you can see, you've got your main ring, like your retaining ring with this little dowel to keep it aligned. And then below it, there's another ring and then there's, a li there's, then there's your liner. So I'm gonna be popping that out. Let's get on with it. Right, so first step is going to be removing the sump. So, yeah, let's remove the sump.
So that is the sump out of the tractor. I'll show you underneath. There you go, that's the view from underneath. So I'm going to be knocking this back liner out. And I'll just zoom in. But if you see that lip there, if it focuses, that's where I've got to get a bit of wood on to knock it out. And it'll push that liner all the way out. So let's crack on. Right, so the liners are out, and as you can see, this has really confused me, but they're exactly right, they're exactly the same. So where I heard that earlier engines have the thinner shoulder on the top of the liners, that's not true, because my engines are 52, and it has the thicker ones. So, I don't know what's going on there, but I must just have heard wrong. So that's all well and good. I've just pulled number one liner out, as you can see. It is loose, comes out, but I'm just leaving it in there because, as I said, this video is just a just like a vlog video to be fair. Uh, I didn't want to be doing too much, so I don't want to get ahead of myself because like I've done with the cylinder head, a full length, complete video refurbishing it, I want to do exactly the same with the engine, a full length feature special, completely refurbishing the engine. So I don't want to get ahead of myself and film too much and then it's not the same when I come to the engine, if you know what I mean? So that's, that's where we're at. Mm -hmm. 